Hello everybody, this is Jahamas1, and today I'll be showing you the duels that I had with the infamous Amos. Now this guy, I was talking to him on Skype while I was fighting him, which is uh, what I definitely prefer to do. And I, well yeah, he's from England, and he has an English accent of course, you know that would make logical sense. Yeah, he's pretty good at Dark Souls, he does a lot of PvP, as well as many other people. And, uh, yeah, so in this battle I'm using the Lightning Rex Stalk, which, you know, this is actually my first time using it on a PvP match. The, the specific weapon, the Lightning Rex Stalk, but I've used it, like, regular. And man, look, I just used my power of intimidation to push him off. I'm just, you know, that, that intimidating that I just rolled right off the cliff. And my first match was a success. Now, half the time, I don't think he really bowed. I think he did something else. Like, there, he did that praying animation, or, um, what do you call it? Emote, I guess. And, uh, yeah, some other times he did the praise the sun. So, the weapon that I'm using in this match is the good old handy fire halberd. And this weapon definitely, indeed, does do some very good damage for how, well, it's pretty quick. But it's, yeah, it's range, it's thrusting attack is like really awesome. It's like my favorite halberd by far. And he just nearly rolled off the cliff again. <laughs> so during these matches, I don't think we had any rules. It's just been such a long time since we've actually had these fights. And look, right there, he got a backstab on me. It, it looked kind of accidental, but it could have been skill. But nonetheless, it looked very smooth, and I'll just say it was skill. Yeah. But that was like a very nice backstab. Maybe I rolled into him, but whatever. So here he's like whacking me with his sword. Whack. Kind of looks like the boulder straight sword. And now here my HP is low enough where it takes on his pike, his long spear. And we are just about equally matched here at this point. I did have my red, red tear stone ring, which allowed me to do some significantly greater damage. Yeah, definitely a big boost in damage. That's a very obvious boost. We're just dancing around, see who can survive, see who gets hit, hit the first. I barely dodged that attack. And now I roll. We're close, and we hit each other to finish each other off. Oh man, that was another very good match. Wait, this is only the second match. So, I guess that's two good matches. They're all good matches. Alright, well anyways. Um, yeah, we'll go on to our third match. So, today at school, like, to my surprise, I actually had some people, like, commenting, telling me, wow, you haven't posted a video in a few days, what's with that? And it actually it been, like, three days since I posted it from today when I'm recording. And, by the way, if you haven't noticed, this, this match that you're watching is the most peculiar match I've ever had, I believe. I mean, it's it's not just peculiar, but it's like a glitch that I've never seen before. And I do not know what causes it, because we both have some really good internet. And from the looks of it, uh, the only animations that I can see him do are switching weapons and moving around. So if, it would seem to me that I cannot tell if he's really running. Well, it's hard to tell if he's running or walking. And I clearly cannot see his attacking animations, I cannot see his rolling animations. So it definitely looks very glitchy. And I don't know what he saw from his perspective, but I assume it was rather regular. Although I do remember him saying something like uh, something was glitched from his perspective as well. It's just, yeah, very, very strange. Um, that was one high damage backstab. And uh, you know the the weapons with like the massive damage do much better backstabbing damage than the high critical weapons such as the bandit's knife. Yep, it's become quite evident throughout my Dark Souls PvP experience. So yeah, my one of my last videos I did talk a little bit about DC Universe Online. And how I had just started playing it, but now it's been a while since I've been playing it. Uh, I think I've almost been playing it on a daily basis. It's a very, very fun game, you know, to play with my friends, hunt down some random enemies. We really haven't done too much as far as like the uh, 
the alerts and all the other instances go but we're still like learning stuff about the game yeah so here I am very low on life and I just see him switching weapons or so it may seem and it would appear that he walked straight through my crossbow bolts but that's obviously impossible now I have like practically no life I don't know why I just didn't make this a quick match I just I felt like I still needed to try you know even though it was very glitchy and peculiar outlandish yeah it's, it's like very interesting <laughs> I wonder what it looked like if he cast the wrath of the gods or like some other spell I wonder if I'd see that animation well he finishes me off with his mental powers of just walking right up to me and yeah it's some serious power he has there just walks right up to me and like I'm automatically hit by his weapon some bizarre powers man now prior to this fight I believe we had an invader some random invader and I had to deal with him or he had to deal with him but we took him out one on one I do believe uh, I just deleted the clip I didn't even watch it I was just like extra video irrelevant delete but anyways I use my great fire chaos fireball to my advantage I predict his move throw it at the ground hit him with some serious damage I didn't even realize how much damage that great chaos fireball did I mean that was sure a powerful hit and now here I got him against the wall take him on a few more hits he is down with my fireball and marakamo alright now the pike is an interesting weapon it's the only long spear in the game that's a regular weapon and its dash attack is very peculiar I mean it's this like it's literally a dash attack where you dash for several seconds and you can't do anything else although I'd assume you can be interrupted and I'd say it leaves you very vulnerable of all the people that I see use this weapon you never see them use a dash attack well at least I don't and here I was just experimenting with the heavy weapon I mean heavy attacks to see what they looked like because I did not remember and you know I've got so many people who use Wrath of the Gods it's like so easy to dodge now it's just like you can see it coming a mile away you know even when they try and trick you and turn their back or try to cancel their cast I think that was the dash attack right there maybe it was only two or three seconds long but still it's rather strange and it does leave you quite vulnerable I believe and now there you see me using the dark wood grain ring to my advantage with its invincibility frames that it offers yeah with the dark wood grain ring if you just like spam the circle button or the roll button then your character will have like all the invincibility frames you need until you run out of stamina and that is how it's quite the powerful weapon I mean ring Dark wood grain ring is a ring, not a weapon. But anyways, now both of our life is pretty low. I don't know what he was doing there, casting wrath of the gods at the pillar. I suppose he predicted me to like immediately rush him. But I do have a long spear, so that allows me to kind of keep my distance from him. I got a quick roll attack to get some quick damage on him. Another roll attack to finish him off. Good game, good match. These are all good games, of course. So my next equipment showcase video, yeah, I, already, I started getting some of the gameplay for it, but I don't know when it will be ready. Um, yeah, I really don't know. Hopefully by early this week, this next week, like Monday, maybe this weekend, but I'm pretty sure I'm busy on this weekend. Now, I'm not that great with heavy weapons, I'm alright. But, you know, it can be pretty tricky to hit your enemy. But with this great axe here, it's a very high damage weapon. Um, I think it does do a bit more damage than the Zwei Hander. My chaos great axe. So it is potentially dangerous weapon. And as you can see, I can only use it two-handed. So it is, does make it a bit more tricky to use.
at least I got my grass crush shield to like, you know, up my stamina regen, which I do believe I was using throughout the entire matches, all the matches, I mean. Ooh. This is intense. It's like so close. What will happen? I had him cornered there for a little. Then he attacked me. Luckily, I'm able to get away. You can tell he has something in his left hand. I, oh wait, that's a parrying dagger, I think. Oh, he nearly parried me, but I finished him off. Ooh. And I'm pretty sure the uh, axes and great axes are pretty good at stun locking, as well as these, some of the other heavy weapons, like the um, the ultra great swords are pretty good at stun locking. The great swords are not good at stun locking, though. I do believe maybe they're all right. Well, actually, the moonlight great sword is just it seems to be overpowered in the stun locking area, or maybe just in the stun ing area. How good it is at breaking the poise. But here we have like a dexterous weapon battle. Man, I nearly had that roll back stab on him, but he finished me off with a few pokes of the. I think that's a rapier, but it's obviously a thrusting sword, whatever it is. Once again, praise the sun for the win. Eat some grass, grass to the face. Reminds me of the grass from uh, Demon Souls. How you had like 99 of each, well, or maybe not necessarily, but if you got stuck on a level like um, World 1, then you'd probably end up with a ton of grass. Oh man, I think I was able to dodge like most of his Wrath of the Gods, but I don't remember really getting a punishing backstab. Oh man, backstab while I'm behind him, that makes completely logical sense, right? And he finishes me off. Stock. It's a very powerful weapon. Now here I'll have a picture for you guys in just a second. Yep, that's a picture of him. I mean not of him, but of his character. <laughs> you know what I mean. So guys, thanks for watching. Goodbye.